you for joining in for my bonus episode specially made for Friday the 13th. The event I'm about to talk about actually occurred on Friday, October 13th, 1972. A Uruguayan Old Christians Club rugby team boarded a turbo prop plane to travel to their match in Chile. However, they never made it there. Due to a navigational error while en route, the plane actually struck the Andean mountain peak, losing its right wing and then its left wing before it crashed into a remote valley of the Argentina near the Chilean border. Originally, there were five crew members and 40 passengers. The crash killed 12 people, leaving only 33 survivors, which were all injured. Leading up to the crash, the pilot plotted a specific course to clear the Andes. He believed he had already passed the mountain and he notified air controllers, who then told the pilot to begin descent. However, the pilot misjudged the location, and as he began to descend, this is when he hit the mountain peak. A search was conducted to find the missing plane. However, it became very clear that the last reported location that the pilot had told them about was actually incorrect. They began looking to the Andes for the plane, but the terrible weather conditions made them believe there was no survivors. After eight days, the search was called off and family members of the missing were the only ones looking for them. It is later claimed that the remaining survivors actually saw these rescue planes. The 33 survivors were at approximately 11,500 feet. There was harsh snow and freezing temperatures. They used whatever protection from the plane they could. They did not have much food or supplies. All they really had was candy bars and wine, which were gone in about a week. After much discussion between the survivors, they decided to resort to eating the corpse of the people who have died. Six others ended up dying within a few weeks, and on October 29th, an avalanche buried most of the plane, causing eight more deaths. Many of the remaining people were looking for an escape route. On December 12th, two individuals embarked on a mission to make their way to the bottom of the mountain and search for help. They came across herdsmen who they told their plane fell out of the sky and they needed help. Finally, a little over two months later, on December 22nd, two helicopters were sent to the wreckage. Only six survivors were able to be taken out, while eight others had to wait until the next day due to bad weather. After they were rescued, the media was alerted and they were finally reunited with their family members. It was said that they had to turn to cannibalism. When the public found out, they were actually very supportive and realized that they did something they had to do to survive. It's crazy. Thank you for joining me for my bonus episode today for Friday the 13th. I hope you enjoyed it. Be careful out there today.